I'm pleased to once again this year highlight the accomplishments of the Catholic District School Board of Eastern Ontario through the Director's Annual Report. This report celebrates our accomplishments, achieving literacy for all, living our Catholic faith, and making resources matter. Our endeavors each year are defined by our board's strategic plan, which is based on the three stones that are the foundation of our work. This plan, in collaboration with our school improvement plans, aligns our priorities and establishes our goals. Our entire Catholic education community is focused on ensuring we work towards effective achieving success and excellence in each of these three areas. Our commitment to technology enabled learning saw the rollout of our new laptops for every school, an initiative which was completed in June 2013. The provision of this resource will give our students access to a rich knowledge base through current and reliable resources, while also providing the tools our learners need to succeed. This initiative, coupled with other ongoing technology and classroom initiatives, will be particularly beneficial to our struggling students who will require additional supports to ensure their success. Student achievement is a key focus of the Catholic District School Board of Eastern Ontario. It's my hope that this report will provide a clear understanding of our board's accomplishments and continued successes in student learning, which can be attributed to the many quality programs and innovative teaching strategies that have been implemented by our teachers and support staff. First and foremost, we are a faith-filled Catholic community living out the gospel each and every day. Our students, staff and family are on a journey responding to the needs of those around us. In the Catholic District School Board of Eastern Ontario, religious and family life education programs provide the foundation in which transformation through God's love for us takes root. The newly created Ontario Catholic Elementary Curriculum Policy Document, grades 1 to 8, for religious education has afforded us an opportunity to begin plans for the full implementation as new programs are developed. In September 2013, the Board launched a new spiritual theme, Witnesses to Hope, Remembering, Celebrating and Believing. This theme will guide the Board and its schools for the next two years, providing the context for transformational learning experiences for students, including our annual Youth Social Justice Symposium and mission trips to developing countries. Once again, I wish to thank the leadership of Archbishop O'Brien, Archbishop Prendergast and Bishop Damfus, who continue to support and champion our school system. As the Director of Education, I appreciate their devotion, guidance and prayers. This year, the Parent Involvement Committee sponsored two significant events. The fall event was the annual Catholic School Council Summit, an evening of discussion and workshops for parents, school staff and community partners. In the spring, regional sessions were held across the board which focused on child and youth mental health. With a view to enhancing communication and access to information for parents, the Parent Involvement Committee supported the purchase of new website program to enable the Catholic School Councils to develop and easily maintain their own school websites. Catholic District School Board of Eastern Ontario continues to explore how to be responsive to student needs and interests and how to engage students in the kinds of thinking and learning that will develop literate and numerate critical thinkers, problem solvers and communicators. Through the cycle of collaborative teacher inquiry, French and English educators from across the board have been working together analyzing student work, listening to student voice, watching student interactions and referencing research, asking each other probing questions and reflecting on and refining their practice as they respond to the learning needs and plan next steps. Whether sharing the inquiry journey through our early primary collaborative inquiry, our collaborative inquiry in math, student work study, realization network, FSL or other collaborative frameworks our understanding of responsive teaching and its impact on student achievement continues to evolve. The early learning initiatives in the Catholic District School Board of Eastern Ontario continue to move forward at an exciting pace. The 2012-2013 school year saw yet another major expansion of our full day kindergarten programs into five new sites. This expansion necessitated the completion of several large renovation and upgrade projects to optimize the learning environments for our youngest students. Full Day Kindergarten has also facilitated the development and expansion of many valuable partnerships with our municipalities, daycares and service providers in all of our communities and will continue to work together to collectively provide the best possible education, facilities and services to our students and their families in these very critical learning years. This school year also saw a significant investment in professional development for our kindergarten to grade 2 teachers and early child educators as we move forward with implementation of our inquiry-based learning format. Research has demonstrated that the investment we make in the early years now 
will pay big dividends for our students and their families both now and in the future. Through data collection, analysis, collaborative dialogue and action, the Catholic District School Board of Eastern Ontario has continued to pursue the vision statement of the Ontario First Nations, Métis and Inuit Education Policy Framework. First Nations, Métis and Inuit students in Ontario will have the knowledge, skills and confidence they need to successfully complete their elementary and secondary education. All students in Ontario will have the knowledge and appreciation of contemporary and traditional First Nations, Métis and Inuit traditions, cultures and perspectives. Building on successes from past years, the Catholic District School Board of Eastern Ontario supported its First Nations, Métis and Inuit students in a number of ways during the 2012-13 school year. Throughout the year, students engaged in learning opportunities, connected with Aboriginal role models, benefited from small group tutoring, and accessed accurate, relevant, and engaging Aboriginal resources. Targeted educators gained awareness and understanding of our Aboriginal cultures, histories and perspectives of the learning styles of First Nation, Métis and Inuit students, of the rich and relevant resources available to them, and of ways to plan for inclusive and respectful learning. Non-Aboriginal students and educators continue to gain deep understanding of and appreciation for Canada's diverse Aboriginal peoples and their histories. The Special Education Department is leading the board-wide mental health strategy focusing on building resiliency through a strengths-based approach and developing a bully prevention and intervention plan in order to ensure our schools are safe, inclusive and accepting places to learn. Schools continue to use a wide range of preventive programs initiatives as well as provide targeted intervention strategies and specialized supports. Partner agencies are valued resources and in many situations including the VTRA protocol and the police and community partners. The Special Education Department has continued school reviews on the delivery programs and services, targeting achievement for all, restorative practices, development of individual education plans, and the capacity and use of assistive technology to meet the needs of our students. Extensive in-services have been provided to implement the new IEP software and to ensure effective individualized performance tasks, strategies and outcomes are developed with parents. We also work closely with our Special Education Advisory Committee to examine and review programs, services and budget priorities to serve our students. Our Special Education students have made outstanding literacy gains of which we are very proud. The Board continues to be an active member of the Regional Education Inclusive Education Network. Many staff participate in the Equity Inclusion Education Conference which was held in Ottawa in the spring. We continue to monitor the implementation of the Equity and Inclusive Education Policy and seek to support school communities by providing resources to assist them to address equity and inclusivity. Staff also participated in the Harmony sessions this year. The Catholic District School Board of Eastern Ontario has once again outperformed provincial results in reading, writing and mathematics. In particular, primary writing and junior reading and writing have surpassed the provincial targets of 75%. At the secondary level, the Grade 9 Academic Mathematics Assessment results increased by 5% over one year and continues to outperform the provincial results. Our students writing the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test continue to show a high rate of success. The Board remains focused on its financial goals around making resources matter and being fiscally responsible. The Board of Trustees approved the 2012-2013 financial statements on November 5th. These statements were compliant with various Ministry of Education enveloping provisions, the Education Act and Ministry regulations. Total expenditures for the 2012-2013 school year were close to $168 million. The 2012-2013 school year was a significant one for the Student Senate as it took responsibility for two major conferences. The first was the Justice Youth Day which was held in November. Student trustee Sean Fry served as the MC for this day and coordinated the Student Senate so that they could lead workshops and support the 300 grade 10 students who gathered together from each high school on the board. The second conference was the Ontario Catholic Student Leadership Conference which took place in April 2013 in Ottawa. Trustee Fry once again coordinated the Student Senate and worked to serve as a co-host of this event that saw some 400 Catholic students from across the province come together to reflect on the implications and significance of Catholic education as it will relate to us all in the future. The Catholic Student Trustee for the 2013-2014 school year is Notre Dame Catholic High School student Taryn James. Trustee James has identified goals in the area of building community among students across the system. 
The Catholic District School Board of Eastern Ontario operates 42 schools that provide quality Catholic education to over 12,900 students. The board employs 881 full-time equivalent elementary and secondary teachers, as well as 560 support staff, including principals, educational assistants, student support workers, early childhood educators, school office support, custodial maintenance staff, board administration, computer and library technicians, and other professional staff employees. I would like to take this opportunity to applaud our students who continue to achieve greatness in their endeavors. They make us very proud and give us this opportunity to celebrate. I'm confident that there will be many more successes in the years ahead. I also want to thank all of the staff of the Catholic District School Board of Eastern Ontario who, no matter their role, work diligently to ensure our school system continues to provide quality Catholic education. For all of us, it continues to be a pleasure and honour to serve our students parents and communities.